In some ways, when you talk about Parkinson's disease, for example, you're really, we're really trying to understand aging. And I'm not saying that Parkinson's is just aging gone wrong, but there is a certain truth to the fact that, that it is probably at least part of the aging process. And so understanding and preventing Parkinson's disease may teach us a lot about aging. And so I think that that's a very, that's, that's a, a very broad and important, that has very broad and important repercussions for understanding of something, for understanding something that's going to happen to every one of us. Pretty much any new medication that's being considered for Parkinson's disease, we are, um, we're involved in, in studying that medication here. Uh, and those vary from treatments, medications that improve symptoms, to medications that we hope may slow the progression of the disease. We, we talk a lot in Parkinson's disease about neuroprotection. That's the idea of slowing the disease progress once it starts. And I've really become very interested in what, what I've coined as neuroprevention. Can we even prevent cases from coming out from the beginning? And I think that's actually maybe one very important new way of thinking about this disease in the future is if we can prevent cases from coming on, you know, the, 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 uh, the reduction in number of cases will have a significant impact on, on public health in the United States.